check, check. There we go. All right, you guys, you ready to knock into this thing? Yes, yeah. sir. All right, you guys, welcome to the Jameson on the Rocks podcast. Today, I believe this is episode um, 101, I think. So, you guys, your first part of the new era, new Let's era. <laughs> um, welcome in Supper Club for this is the full band, right? There's no other members, correct? Yeah, yeah. just us. Yeah. Love it. Thank you guys for coming in, man. Where you guys are based out of Birmingham or Auburn? So, we formed in Auburn, and now we live in Birmingham, and they live in Nashville, and then we meet okay. up to practice in Birmingham. Is that tough, that distance, or no? Yeah, kind it's, ki- it's kind of tough, but uh, not not too bad. Like doable? Kind yeah, of? very doable. Interesting. Well, I imagine you're not practicing as much as you used to, right? Yeah. You're the road dogging it, right? That's yeah. practice enough, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And when did you guys start kind of doing the whole music thing, man? I'm, I'm, I've been hearing about you guys for a little while. I think maybe the first time I heard of you guys was either um the planes like the what's the guy's name branch you guys know branch right yeah. oh yeah branch might have mentioned you guys either that or it was preston uh hall mentioned you guys uh we we're talking about the, like thing going on at bama auburn he mentioned you guys and then the davis buckaby guy was like some close best band we had i was like <laughs> word and then wyatt uh we were we played in statesboro and at blue room we were just like in some fraternity house at like 3 a.m just like me him and preston just like chilling in some guy's room taking off drinking he's like dude you want to hear the new supper club i was like yeah he played me a little bit man it's hush hush though i can't can't tell you guys about it (laughs) but anyways uh tell me kind of when you guys got started when does this whole thing start for you uh how does the band come to be is this the current lineup the past lineups any of that stuff give me the give me the summary right quick i guess so it was like three years ago almost exactly okay which is kind of funny but it's awesome the three of us, Jackson, me, and Billy, have been playing music since like we were in the seventh grade almost. Damn. Okay. Okay. Um, I've known both of them all my life. Uh huh. And uh, then we met <laughs> Down Griffin. There on the end. <laughs> Down there on the end. <clears throat> we met Griffin. I met Griffin in college first. And then we started playing music together. Just Where'd the you guys two go to us. college at? We all went to Auburn. All went to Auburn. Okay, sweet. Mm-hmm. I kind of think of you guys like an Auburn band, so that's why I ask. So yeah, would yeah. you consider yourself Auburn band, or is it kind of? I would yeah. say so. Like, we've we've always like played more shows in like Opelika, which is okay. like the, 30 minutes out, right? It's Yeah, it's like 15 to okay. 20 minutes out. Uh-huh. Um, that's kind of like where we had our first like legit shows that like people were like calling us to be like, hey, you want to play or yeah. open for this band coming through? Oh, yeah. And yeah, so Opelike has kind of been like our okay. spiritual home. They're kind of thought about as the same thing, though, right? Like, yeah. you pretty much, like you say, Auburn, you could mean Opelika, right? Yes. Interesting. Yes. And you guys start, I assume, is that year right? 2019 is when you would have started? Okay. Exactly. And so you three have been playing together. You joined a band. It's like, all right, we're going to hit the road. We're going to write some songs. Like, what starts happening there at the beginning? Um, we just like started jamming. <laughs> I like, like that face. Like, <laughs> like, hmm. <laughs> we started jamming on some tunes. Yeah, like my my room at my old house in Auburn had like like a drum set in it, uh-huh. and then like a PA system, and then like my bed was in the corner. Sick. And we just go up there and like jam out and for like hours. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, and then once we had like a pretty good cover set and yeah. like some originals that we'd written independently uh-huh. at that point. We like just scheduled a show with some yeah. of our friends from uh, Mississippi State. Oh, sick! Yeah, Underground the Conditions. They're like kind of like a I never heard of them. Yeah, they're like a kind of pop punk band. Oh, but sick! They're, they're so sick. Interesting. Okay, so you just like immediately started playing. Was there like any conversations like let's let's do this shit full time, or was it just like let's just play some tunes? It just kind of snowballed a little yeah? bit. Like yeah. we were like, oh, I guess we need a write some music and then we start playing that stuff and then we're uh-huh. like guess we need to record it now yeah we <laughs> we recorded our first songs like three months after we started oh wow that's quick man. it was always like let's just record some music yeah that was yeah. always the point for us was it very easy for you guys to write at the beginning i mean i guess you just jam it a lot it just kind of happens right or was it was it tough to it's, you know figure it out it's evolved a lot because yeah? when i first joined the band i'm not the original drummer either. okay um you Kinda. You basically are the basically. Like, <laughs> We all got a couple not members. The original <laughs> <laughs> but when I first came in, they the three of them had all written a song separately. They all okay. tried off singing lead. Yeah. So it was interesting. It was like three different personalities. And then about a year in, we started writing together. Okay. And the first EP was kind of all of our ideas coming yeah. together. Um so it's it's evolved as we've gone on. It's become more and more collaborative and sweet. It's kind of jamming things out. But. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, I guess when I, what I'm trying to find out is like uh, when you first start writing, like you guys are just trying to put some tunes out, just so you have like 
a medium to show people or like the goal from day one was like let's play as many originals as we can that, right that was mm. the goal and also okay. like when you're starting out it's like three hour sets yeah you know it's tough. It's, so it's, it's tough. like oh we gotta write this to fill because <laughs> we never like we never wanted to be a cover band yeah like that that was just never the goal um and we we're a cover band for a while. Oh, yeah. You kind of have to. The yeah, three yeah, hour, exactly. I mean, you can't just come out of the gate with three hours of originals oh. unless you're really good. <laughs> well, you know? No one's going to listen <laughs> yeah, to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're going to have some tough crowds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's always been trying to like sneak our, what like we want to play uh-huh. into our sets. Um, I glanced through the uh, set list playlist on Spotify. I was like, whoa, some cuts in there, man. Like, like Sweet Virginia, a few of those songs. Yeah, like, so, you guys yeah. play all those live? Yeah, we, used to maybe. They, that's used like to. the full set list of what we ever no. played. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. If we ever need to pull anything from that, we go. Yeah, there. search through. I saw some good ones in there. I was like, whoa, this is these are some sick songs that I wouldn't have expected. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so you guys start playing these sets. Uh, how does the first show go? Pretty good. You said you're opening for another band, right? It was it was pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, it was like in so we had this like massive stage set up. Uh-huh. It was like. It, it looked real. It felt really yeah, big at the time. It was like wooden pallets, but it a was a frat like, pallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but right. it was in oh, yeah. my backyard, okay. and we like had like the PA set up and everything. Yeah, and then the like during sound check at like seven, we got a noise complaint. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough night. <laughs> yeah, and we're like, and there's like a ton of people coming, just yeah. like friends that yeah. just want to have a good time. Oh, and that's then the worst. We were like, oh gosh, we gotta like audible this real quick, yeah. and then luckily some friends that had another house had like a little stage in the backyard or maybe okay. we brought the stages or something yeah i don't remember but then we uh-huh. just played a show in the backyard and it was it was sick went pretty smoothly yeah it was it was, was a good time it, was there a significant feeling like damn fellas we might better do this thing you know or no or no yeah kind of? i, mean, I think was, for sure it was yeah? definitely yeah. a success like, yeah uh, don't like watching those videos. <laughs> like, listen, There's but, some bad moments. Yeah. Are there? <laughs> oh, boy. It felt good. Oh, but man. At the time, but going back, it's like. It felt pretty magical, though. Like, did I remember, it? I remember like, people coming up after and like, that was so good. And we were all like, oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Like, we, we really stumbled our way through that one. I yeah. love that, man. Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty sick. And this was in Auburn, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what yeah. you meant? And it, was it weird? I mean, I guess there's not. I mean, how many Auburn bands do you think there is? Ten, maybe. Maybe, maybe less. Probably, probably less. less. So well, there's it, there's different levels of Auburn bands. There's uh-huh. like there's like the people that kind of like dip into the frat circuit, like mm-hmm. doing a, all those shows, and then there's like kind of the more punk bands and like indie okay. bands that Didn't are in know that. Auburn. Yeah, like there's a really good band called Make Sure. Make Sure. Um, it's like acoustic, but like really like well composed music um yeah we love yeah. make sure but that's not that like compatible with like frat stuff yeah i guess that's what i'm wondering is there's not really a template for you guys like from athens like there's 80 bands you know it's like all right i could just ask one of the bigger bands which is what i did you know and yeah. figure it out kind of so yeah. like was there any like confusion at start you know like what should we be doing kind of stuff big time Definitely. yeah big time We're yeah big learning curve word sure. word when we started i don't think there were really like any bands honestly Really? Yeah, because that was probably was that was probably like six months before like the stews. Pre-stews? Yeah, stews. <laughs> before then, there was like Bobby Rock and Roll. Yeah, Bobby Rock and Roll was. But he was about okay. to be gone. Not uh, a lot of bands try to tour. Out make of sure. I'll yeah. say that that Interesting. was kind of a new territory trying to be an a band from Auburn and playing outside. Yeah, we uh, not a lot of people were doing that at the time. It's kind so of strange, kind of isn't it? it, out. it, it is. seems like I mean, well, there's only a couple bars to play, I guess. Right? It'd be like what seventeen, sixteen, southeastern Sky Bar if you're a little bigger, I guess. Yeah, so, kind of the house show scene too. The house but, show things a lot. It seems like the mm-hmm. fraternity scene is really strong out there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that kind yeah, of where you guys cut your teeth at? I guess. Yeah, there and then like. 17 16 yeah yeah mm-hmm. like word mo's mo's barbecue mo's was, barbecue those were the, the best joint. shows it was just really? loud and like yeah packed yeah just like everyone's just packed into this tiny uh, area interesting well that's cool man uh and how long into this thing do you guys kind of start touring i guess maybe even like tri-state you know what i mean when does that start happening pretty quick pretty long you know like i'd say about a year after yeah, something like that. What was that because the State? pandemic hit? Oh, oh yeah. true. Right, right when we started kind of getting going, yeah, like pandemic hit. Okay, so then Perfect we just time. started writing. 
Yeah, that killed a lot of bands. So good for y'all for making it through, man. Yeah. Good for y'all. Yeah, we were we were right under where it would have been bad. You know, yeah. like where we we're just about to like start going. Yeah. And so it was like, oh, we can just like write some songs. How many songs do you think you came out of that era with? You know what I mean? Like how many? Tours? That's where we didn't take advantage of COVID. Yeah. What? I think we came out with two songs. Let's go. <laughs> Grinding, brothers. But we spent a lot of time on yeah. those two songs. Yeah. It's hard when you're starting. You got to figure out your sound and all yeah. that stuff. You know, figure out what you want to do. Everything's yeah. a little more serious you know i guess or it's like this has got to be it it's our first single you know what i mean like you know that kind of stuff and when 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 do you guys start putting music out before that or after that right before before that before that so what's the name of the is it singles right what were they called uh was one muddy pass yeah muddy pass muddy pass was for the ep but we put out we put out naked gold i like that one that one's really catchy uh, bounce and and petty Petty cash Cash, petty cash yeah right at the beginning somebody different is singing on petty cash right I was like, I was like, that's definitely not the same singer. So I, I was glad. I want to check. And you, you said that you three sing, right? Is that what yeah, I heard? Yeah. Those three, awesome. Like taking turns on lead, or how does that work? Or yeah, like, like, like the newest album that we've been recording in Charleston. It, it'll uh-huh. be like, like I'll do a verse, and then Griffin will do a chorus, or vice sick, versa. Sick, sick. That's awesome. Or like throwing a bridge, and someone yeah. else will do the bridge. Awesome. You guys do like the three way harmony thing ever? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sick, dude. Love that. Love that. So yeah. tasty. Hard to do, too. So props to you. Props to you. Hats off, man. Uh, how do you guys like having a bunch of singers in the band? Is it nice to like you guys' voices ever get too shot? Or like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, you kind of have a break, right? Yeah. No, it's like, that's honestly so. Because when we were recording yesterday yeah. at 1093, it would be like, we'd get through like the songs that are kind of tough to sing or that yeah. strain your voice a little bit. Then I'd be like, okay, it's griffin singing now yeah like, i'm good for some yeah, yeah can recover you'd be amazed nice. at how much that three minutes will help you know when you're when you're when your throat's tired and shit it's like damn that was real recovery right there yeah. and you can walk off stage sometimes if you need to like fix yeah. the sound or something while the other guy's singing i don't know if you ever do that but yeah i don't know i don't know out for a little bit yeah yeah i don't know how the one singer bands do it you know what i mean can you imagine just singing for three hours straight with no song breaks in between i no. personally can't i don't know i'm interesting yeah but, like, I guess what I'm trying to find out as well is, like, how did you guys, was there, like, any conversations at the start of, like, all right, we're going to be this kind of band, we're going to do the three-way harmony things, we're going to, like, this This sounds what we're going for. Like, is there, like, vibe conversations, I guess? Not, Maybe? It, it's always been our tastes and then uh-huh. just trying to, like, plug them in when we're writing songs. So, or, I think, like, everything's, like, I said snowball earlier, but it's mm-hmm. really just, like, snowballed and then like i think one of us will find a band and like show it to each other yeah and then that'll be like oh i love this band yeah. and then like we just naturally will like get inspiration from those kind of things gotcha so it's very organic and it's yeah. just we all four write every song so it's awesome yeah so you guys so, ever have any stuff get written where it's like oh this doesn't fit the vibe or it's like you guys kind of know when it's right i guess sort of I think both. So, yeah. There are a lot of things that we really like and yeah. don't end up making the cut. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I think that's to be expected, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess what I, um, I don't know how I'm trying to ask it, but like what what genre would you consider yourself? I guess that's a good way to lead into it. I know this is a tough question. Uh, we can answer individually or together either way. I'll say this. I have a list Uh-oh. on my notes app of <laughs> every band that people have said we sound like, and it is. Let me see it. Let's hear it. I want to hear. I'm curious. Yeah, we can. You grab my phone over there. I would have said, uh, or at least some of the vibes I got on them was like, like sticky fingers, stones, like the wild horses, and like sweet Virginia tracks, kind of. But like not the same vocals. Yeah, I think lately our sound has gone a lot more that. that Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it was like a like not country, but like not. Like maybe some folk elements almost, but like kind of like that southern rock thing too, though. Yeah, There's like a lot of little a things. Little vintage about our sound that we, oh, try, definitely. That we try to go for. Definitely, um, but it's the production sound clean though. It's like it's not like you guys are like fully trying to like sound like the '70s or something. Like yeah. it's like sounds very modern as well, in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's, it's tough to describe, as you know. I'll give you some. Give me, ones. give me some tasters. We got Young the Giant. Grateful Dead, okay. <laughs> Hippocampus, mm-hmm. Almond Brothers, could hear that. Pavement, huh. replacements. <laughs> huh. I'm, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some of you are like, okay. oh, okay. cool, cool. Um, <laughs> we got Babe Rainbow. What? The Beatles. Okay. My Morning Jacket, yes. Almond Brothers, and Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon. 
It, these, these don't make any sense. I don't know. It makes us get off stage and be like, what are we doing? <laughs> you guys, like, maybe we'll just get a dude yelling like yeah. at us from up front. Like, you guys sound exactly like blank. And we're like, really? Do you know them? <laughs> we're like, I've never, yeah, like, I don't know who that is. Interesting, man. Well, do you guys have anybody like, uh, like, let's go around the table and say maybe, like, favorite bands you've looked up to or, like, inspired to sound like. You guys want to do that? One each, maybe? It'd be cool. Sure. Anybody in particular? Uh, Probably the Eagles. Love it. Love it. One of these nights. Oh, great yeah. band. You ever seen the documentary on them, like, the three-hour long one? Yeah, dude. Great what a masterpiece. Right? What a masterpiece, man. Probably my morning jacket. Ooh, so yeah. you're happy with that I was list. very yeah, happy. Yeah, okay. Sweet. That. I, like, made my day. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hard one for me. It's tough, I'm gonna, man. I'm going to go. He's going to defer. All right, I think recently the Beatles have been just Word. like, yeah. like one of my biggest influences. I just, could see that because there was like one of you guys' song that was like maybe like two and a half minutes song. Maybe it was Naked Gold or one of those. Which one's really short? Naked, Naked Gold. Gold think short. so. I was yeah. like, I was like, hmm, kind of surprisingly short there. I don't know. It's like a Beatles thing. Yeah. You know? No. Quick, we, quick arrangement, I guess. Yeah, we have. We actually recorded three of the songs like in a row, and they're okay. like two minute, two minute, then like three minutes. Yeah. But they're all like just feed into each other gotcha and that was kind of taken from that like abbey road yeah like the, the, the short song what do they call it the uh fucking we call it three songs are melted together uh we call it the trilogy the trilogy <laughs> the medley, the medley. Yes, that's the medley. what i was looking for yeah the, the <laughs> famous medley we're a medley band love that love that interesting yeah. you, you ready for your answer right here you, you're gonna completely defer i won't completely defer okay i'll say his golden messenger I, i've never listened to them they're I? amazing his? it's like folk rock and live they got I think they're like the best jam band in the world. Really? You guys <laughs> but, have any uh, like dramatic. you guys ever consider yourself in the jam space or you guys ever space out? I've never seen you guys live, so I don't really know. So that's uh we started off playing a lot of jam band based music kind of, uh -huh, but uh -huh. quickly we did not want to be gotcha. a jam band, hence yeah, our motto of... early on was we're not a jam band. <laughs> Yeah. That was the Instagram bio. Yeah. That was for a while. Yeah. Now it's that same thing, but in Spanish. <laughs> We've evolved a little. Interesting. What What's the reasoning behind that? Was there like a certain like uh, uh, maybe like you just you had songs you want to get across, I guess, or like yeah. the really long guitar solos didn't do it for you, that kind of stuff, or like taking songs to other spaces wasn't your thing, or it was kind of out of necessity at the beginning. Okay, like we just didn't have a lot of songs, and so uh -huh. to stretch out three hours. You just jam for eight minutes on each other. Yeah, time. understood, understood. So, so we just kind of grew out of it yeah. naturally. Yeah, and it got to the point where you're like, I'd love to be filling this space with like good songs, you know, yeah. rather than like just like trying to make something out of this one song. Yeah. yeah. Than fire yeah. on the mountain for 12 minutes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Classic, <laughs> classic jam. <laughs> classic. Passage. I know what you mean, though, man, because it's like... um I don't know. Sometimes the the long jams feel very self serving per se. You know what I mean? Like you could be lost in it, but like everybody else, is like, damn, I'd love to hear some some choruses right now. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I yeah. could chorus. <laughs> a chorus would be cooler or verse even. Just any other chord other yeah. than A and G. <laughs> uh, pentatonic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you? When people ask you though, what genre do you guys say you are? Is it? I I've been saying recently indie classic rock. Oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. I can see that. There's definitely the classic thing going on. Yeah. And we definitely uh, like listen to a ton of just like indie music, I uh -huh. guess, in general, which I feel like indie's like everything now. Yeah. Honestly. It's kind of hard to put a, put a name on it or a yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah. But we love like, yeah, just classic rock, like 60s uh -huh. and 70s, like psychedelic yeah. rock too. And so just like modern that. Yeah, like some indie. Understood. It's such a tough question, you know. It's so hard to hard to explain, you know. Yeah. Um, when you guys start making these songs on putting them out, what's the response like? When it's like, is it like immediate, like getting people listening, or is it like slow burn kind of thing, or how did it go? You know, our first single like did super well. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. like Naked Gold. Yeah, like, it was like I love that one. That was a good song. Yeah, that one's it's so fun to play. Yeah. but we put that on Spotify and it just immediately like kind of like blew up not like massive but yeah. it was still like more streams that than we knew we had ever that's awesome get it back on the earlier conversation that was kind of a big reason why we continued at first as much as we did i think because we put out those songs for fun and then naked gold did pretty well we're like yeah. damn we should maybe do a band maybe this <laughs> is a thing maybe yeah. this is a thing where does yeah. the name come from i'm curious about the name Supper like somebody Club? told me one time it's like an auburn thing 
This one's a Billy question. <laughs> <laughs> my redemption shot Let's so a name comes from there's an old venue in auburn called the work supper club uh-huh. um that a bunch of bands that we kind of looked up to go went through yeah um, widespread panic right yeah I think somebody so. told me the story i can't remember who though that it's a place but continue on it was pretty cool but it shut yeah. down like 10 years ago or so okay. um and we thought it'd just be cool to carry on the name yeah, since that's we're awesome. from auburn a lot of people already knew the name so yeah yeah mm-hmm. very cool that's where we got it from Killed Came it. the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was Branch that told me that story. Somebody mentioned it, the widespread panic had played this place called Supper Club in, Al- in Auburn. Yeah, there's been a ton of bands. Yeah. There. Well, it seems like Auburn's got like the low key history. You know, like what? What do you guys think about totally. it right now? It seems like something's happening over there. You got a couple bands coming through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nope. obviously, Stu's and you guys are really killing it right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like the low key. It, it is a super low key history. Yeah, and they get. There's a guy named Richard that. Um, Lives in Opelika that helps okay. book for like Standard Deluxe. Standard I don't, Deluxe. I've never heard of it. it. It's like one of the coolest music venues in the Southeast. Okay. It's like a compound in Waverly, Alabama. What? And that's where we played with like the Future Birds there. Oh, sick. And he's seen like his Gold Messenger and like yeah. um, just a ton of really good bands go through yeah. there. And it's so cool. But I think with that, so close to Auburn. And then Richard, who just books really good bands in Opelika, uh-huh. it just has a like a low key music thing going. Yeah, on. like there's something there, you know. Mm-hmm. There definitely is. Interesting. That's exciting. I've been I've been kind of stoked about it. Like I've been just yeah, thinking cool. about like this new town with some bands coming out, or at least I mean not new town, you know. Like, but like to me, it's new. I'm like, damn. I mean, snooze are murdering. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, good Holy lord, shit. like they are yeah, rolling. Yeah. You know, so it's like, damn, that might be yeah. a thing out there. They're they are killing it, and like even we played there and had like an like an opener, and you can tell yeah. that like more bands are like getting into coming through, playing rock and stuff. And I mean, it can only get bigger. I mean, you guys, stews and planes, and everybody keeps killing. Like, I mean, that'll just like snowball into like little other little bands. You know, I I think it makes sense. That's like, cause like we you guys go play like Clemson and Columbia and stuff, and they'll be like, yeah, we got two and a half bands here. It's like, how is that possible? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like how is that DJs. possible? Yeah. yeah. I guess another thing that's weird about it is like you guys don't really have to um, focus on Auburn, if that makes sense. Like you guys probably don't play Auburn very much, do you? Not anymore? Not anymore. Yeah, it's kind of tough to, right? Because mm-hmm. same bars, same crowds kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, which is interesting because like Athens, like uh, Athens bands can like very much still focus on Athens and do it once a month, pretty much. Yeah, like yeah, most yeah. Athens bands play in Athens once every two weeks, you know? Yeah. And you can play somewhere different once every two weeks for a whole semester, you know? So... It's interesting, but I noticed like you guys and like Stu's like almost never play Auburn, which is interesting. Yeah, you it it's really easy to oversaturate. Yeah, I could yeah. see that. Did you find it easier at the start though? Like because of the lack of bands, it was like you guys could not automatically, but like maybe a quicker route to like having a following was like because you guys are one of the only bands in town to see, perhaps maybe. I think so. Definitely. Probably. Yeah, I so. it had to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, People definitely. didn't have another choice. <laughs> yeah, it's. Band. A, and how do how do uh, the crowds react out there? Because I know we go to some towns and they're a little wilder. Like I would consider, I don't know how much Clemson stuff you guys have done, but they're they're a little rowdy. Dude, we love <laughs> Clemson. They're rowdy. Yeah, we bro. love. We played they Loose are, Change last. I week love Loose Change, bro. Dude, it was just wild. It's yeah. a mess in there, but I love it. it is, I love yeah, it. No, it is because so they don't fun. have any bands. So when a band comes through, they're like, "Holy shit, this is a band!" You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. And like I was wondering if Auburn's kind of like that or no. Similar? Not not, not as really. much. I don't think not so. as much. Not as much. Okay. Interesting. Because Auburn Auburn like loves live music and they're like great crowd, but it kinda yeah. needs to be like a social event in some okay. areas. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like people go to talk kind of or like hang? or like like get the friends to go and then okay. you get like and then they'll have like the best show ever. But it's like Interesting. you gotta make it and I think that's like we've always been such like a community focused band, like all of us uh-huh. writing, like um just our music. It's like it's like we love making friends with everyone that we yeah. can and just like so then once we do shows around the country we have like friends in every city that we yeah. can like text and hang out Be with. on with yeah so i think that might be an auburn thing where it's like like you'll go if you're like hey y'all want to go and then yeah. like, like no one just like shows up alone to like gotcha whereas i feel yeah. like here it's just like people just will be like oh bands are playing like oh, we're yeah. going no it's matter crazy what. Yeah. yeah but like you guys don't have necessarily like an original venue too right you don't have anywhere where there's three band bills like 45 no. minute sets no. three rock bands playing right no there's like no venues 
Mm-mm. Interesting. So that might be part of it, you know? A lot of yeah. people are just there in the bar to drink, per se, right? Yeah, I guess, exactly. You know? yeah, exactly. And there, you, there used to be one venue. Yeah? There was a bar, Bourbon Street, but Bourbon it, Street. it closed down during COVID. But I remember that place. Yeah. ATM used to play there. Yeah, so Bourbon? like the weeks yeah. there. Yeah. Whiskey same. Myers. I thought it was the same. Oh, that's awesome, brother. That's same sick. Mm-hmm. I thought it was the same place. Oh, yeah, Jason Isbell Sky played Bar. there. Yeah. I thought that was Sky Bar. They just renamed it. Mm-mm. No? Okay. You guys ever done Sky Bar? I guess Sky Bar is like the, the touring spot in town, like where all the touring cover bands come through, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's no. more of a cover band kind of Yeah, place. for sure. It's a big old place, right, from what Huge. I hear? Huge. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and it packs out. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I guess uh, let's keep moving on. I, I, this Auburn shit's interesting to me, though, because like, I don't know something about it. I, I find it. I'm surprised that you guys say it's. I mean, not not as rowdy, but like, would you say Clemson's like they they get rowdier? Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Like I in our know, experience, yeah. But Auburn does get like super rowdy. Gets nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. yeah. There's some really good times at Auburn. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure it out. I guess it's probably because like uh, I mean like they can go see a national band like pretty not national but you know U.S. wide touring band at Sky Bar whenever. Like Clemson, like I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you know Athens, like people get less rowdy at tailgates because they have a band every Thursday, Friday, Saturday for yeah. their parties. You know what I'm yeah. saying? In a certain way. But anyways, I don't want to get hung up on this too much. Let me keep moving on, you guys. Uh, <laughs> when you guys start playing this frat stuff, or not frat stuff, fraternity, excuse me. Um, when does it kind of elevate into like, all right, we need to really get moving and like go to these other cities? Maybe when we played Clemson. Yeah. For the first time. Yeah. We had like a basement show in Clemson and we just like basement. Yeah, and we were like well it was at it was at like a fraternity house. Yeah. And it was like in their basement, like super sweaty, just Love like it. packed out. And yeah. we were running our own sound too. Yeah. And uh yeah, I, after that show, there's like people on the stage just like freaking raging and That's like Clemson for you. Yeah, just like <laughs> Like, Shout out Parker Nielsen. Yeah, wow, dude, Nielsen. you guys know Parker? Parker's the you man. Parker's my homie, Parker's bro. the man. <laughs> I talked to Parker last night, bro. That's oh, a guy. He's no going to be so way. happy when he sees it. Salute to Parker. Parker. He is a homie, This podcast bro. is for you. This is for him. He's going <laughs> to shit his pants when he sees it. Bro. <laughs> Love that guy, man. He's nuts. Was he it Clemson? Miss a show. Were you guys at Clemson Beta? What was it? Uh, that first one was AGR. 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 AGR okay, and we have played Beta a couple times. I now. love Beta. They're wonderful. Uh, that's Beta. hilarious. You guys know Parker of all people. He's he's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> um, so you start playing, do the Clemson thing, and then um, how long? Like, do, what? Where else do you guys start hitting? Is there like a certain circuit you get on? Um, well, this is SEC when we we this is when we were booking for ourselves. Yeah. So it was just like us, like cold calls, emails, like just seeing who would give us any time yeah um and so at the beginning it was a lot of just like hey guys y'all got shows like billy's making a lot of the calls <laughs> yeah i was just cold call people and yeah. Word. what are you doing october 20th you want to throw a party <laughs> 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 try to pitch them and yeah most of the time would not work out sometimes uh-huh. it did though it was really sec based at gotcha. first yeah. like like uh-huh. tuscaloosa, Athens, tuscaloosa stuff like yeah. that athens came later we, we yeah. tried here for a, a minute and yeah. uh actually the first time we played here was last semester yeah i yeah. think so yeah. what venue it was at ka was oh a, sweet yeah. sweet well you guys are up tremendously here at the georgia theater man that's one of yeah, the yeah, best venues really in the world that's awesome yeah man. no you guys are gonna love it you ever been in there no, no. Mm. beautiful room man I, I've it just sounds photos. wonderful dude. yeah it photographs well is garrett shooting y'all tonight yeah <laughs> W, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. It and photographs I, really well. Yeah. I think they're filming too, maybe. Oh, some sick, stuff, man. So Sweet. Hopefully. I'm going to have to try to come by. Yeah. Um, when you guys, okay, so you start hitting like Tuscaloosa, maybe like Ole Miss, stuff like that, right? Is there like, was it tough to plant roots in these other towns and like make fans? Or was it like like a lot of empty shows kind of stuff? Or was it like you kind of already had enough people to come see you or the Greek life provided them kind of thing? It's kind of a mix. Yeah. Fraternity shows can win you over fans, and sometimes yeah. none at all. I mean, it's uh-huh. obviously great for money. For yeah. A band you have to. You have to. Yeah. So it's kind of it's been an interesting balance of trying to plan fraternity shows, mm-hmm. plan our own shows in small rooms. Yeah. And then opening yeah. slots for bands such as the Vagabonds, yeah. the Future mm-hmm. Birds. Sweet. Those are kind of the three shows we really went for at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. They kind of their different perks. Was so, it? Yeah, they do, don't they? That's a really good breakdown of that. Was it tough? I guess because, like, I mean, obviously starting out, your first, I mean, got to be a bunch of shows where you've only got what four or five originals, right? Was that tough for the three-hour sets? Was it like, all right, we're kind of oh, yeah. hung up in the cover bandy rounds, you know, which is tough. 
but you had to get through it you know mm -hmm. was that tough or was that pretty easy for you guys to write a lot of tunes really quick we wrote a lot of tunes pretty, pretty quick fast. actually yeah 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 it used to take us a little longer than it does right now because uh -huh. right now we will take like a idea into the studio and like uh -huh. just like write on the spot okay or and just leave there with like recording that you can like kind of touch up later that's sick but then it was like we had three songs that we had recorded and put out and yeah. then just the rest for covers okay. and then adding some stuff that we were writing along the way yeah. so we, we'd kind of do like we would write songs and then just play them live and okay. just be like this is our song and yeah. then like eventually we put it out and we still do that interesting but, road testing them yeah i, I like that i like yeah. that it's fun interesting so okay i guess i'm just trying to get the whole storyline here uh, when do you guys start working on the you have one ep out or two just one, right? One EP. Yeah. World keeps spinning, right? Yeah. Word. When do you guys start working on this? What? Tell me the process on this. Uh, how did it go? Anybody write any any special moments, writing the songs or anything? We started in 2020 during COVID. Right? During COVID, these are the two songs. No, the two of them. Right after those right two after songs. That, right, right after word. those two songs. Word. Um, I think the first song. So the title track, World Keeps Spinning. Mm -hmm. I like that one. That was a good. Was vibe. actually started as this crazy song that me and Jackson started writing in like the seventh grade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> totally <wow>. different song. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, You've heard V three of that song. That's like the third okay. version of it. V three. Yeah. Okay. V three. One and two were completely different songs. Okay. Too. We have a V four. <laughs> But I don't think. Go ahead and drop V1 and V2, bro. Let's hear it. Let's hear <laughs> no, the seventh no, grade. I don't know if you want to hear V1. We thought about doing an EP of All World Keeps Spinning. <laughs> Please do it. With dates <laughs> by it. Remixes. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. But the first song we actually wrote for the EP together was Muddy Pass, I guess, which uh -huh. Jackson was working out in Colorado. Okay. And the three of us came and road tripped and visited him. Oh, sick. And we camped out. At Muddy Pass. Oh, as yeah. you did. It's like a it's continental cool. divide, little yeah. crossing. Continental divide is beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. I bet and that was really cool. Wrote an acoustic song around the campfire, okay. and it was as cliche nice. as it sounds. It was no. amazing. It sounds great, man. I like yeah, that one. Do you guys have a favorite track from the EP each? Anybody have a favorite one to play? Favorite one in general? Or do you like them all? I think Muddy Pass is my favorite song yeah? from the EP. Not my or, favorite to play, though. What's your favorite to play? World Keeps Spinning. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. World Keeps Spinning. Agreed? Or Yes Ma'am. Yeah. Yes Ma'am. Yes Ma'am down here. Yeah. Who yeah. said Yes Ma'am? Right uh, yes Ma'am, yeah. Interesting. And how's the how's the crowd response from these songs? Presumably pretty, pretty good? People digging them? Yeah, Less yeah. Them a lot? Yeah, some, some places will be like singing the words and stuff. Let's go! Which feels, <clears throat> that's hype. That feels like... It's Parker. So good. Oh, yeah. Parker. Parker's Parker the man. Parker's All the day. man. All day. He yeah. owns the pit at Loose Change, bro. That's yeah, his. He does. That's his. He does. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, he uh, should, yeah, he needs to take that thing. It, it took <laughs> us a long time to get the EP out. Okay. I'd, I'd probably say six months too long. Yeah. But it's, it's hard to say that, too, because like we used every week of that, improving okay. it. Well, that's good. I mean, yeah. that's not wasted time. Yeah. So there's a trade off. Still took a long time. Like we actually entered the studio to uh -huh. record our newest album uh -huh. a week after we released wow. the EP. We we're just like, it. let's let's get this behind us. Yeah. Let's yeah. keep going while they're fresh. Mm -hmm. While they're fresh. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna talk more about that album in a second. Uh, when does that come out? As soon or TBD? TBD? TBD. Uh, we still. Am I still in frame on this guy? I should make sure we're still recording. Sweet. I love that. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. We have a single coming out next okay. weekend. What's it called? Wichita. Wichita. Oh, yeah. Oh, Go yeah. to Wichita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's what's the inspiration on this one? Um That the, was Where in the hell is Wichita at? Kansas. 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 Okay. We've never been. Kansas. So, you know. Okay. We started riding that when we were about to move in together and yeah. do the band thing full time. And okay. It's kind of I think what spurred it. I think a lot, yeah. a lot of it's about just taking that risk of doing music that's uh, awesome man i'm excited to hear it when does that come out again next friday yeah next friday Friday the 7th yeah you guys wrote this one together or was it kind of separate thing how what was the process on writing and recording it like i think all the songs kind of start off with somebody has a yeah. small idea and brings it to the band and then we flush it out full band sweet um, has, so. it, has it been tough to like get you guys individual personalities across like maybe a song comes in that's like <clears throat> out of your forte or something it's like tough to put your stamp on it individually or has it just been like song serving if that makes sense like you just do what the song needs i guess it's a little both yeah both? i think yeah. yeah i think it's 
I think definitely they're like we have like a more like disco track on it. That, that's what that's the one that Wyatt showed me. Yeah, I remember yeah, him yeah. saying that he's like very disco y and I was like just hammered in a frat bass. I was like, yeah, dude, this is nice. <laughs> you know, like, this is dope, you guys. That's where that song hits the best. <laughs> <laughs> hammered in a frat bass. I was like, word, dude. Yeah. yeah, but that one was like we'd never done a song like that. Mm -mm. And it's yeah, it was kind when you of say disco y, what do you mean? Like it's like like Miss You Stones disco y or like I think straight up disco. Like, like straight like up disco? BGs. Like there's falsetto, yeah. what? like Bee Gees. Yeah. Oh sick, dude. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. That was definitely, I think, out of all of our comfort sense. Yeah. But yeah. It was so much fun recording it, was it though. So That's fun. exciting. Where do yeah. you guys record at? Uh the space in Charleston. The space. I've never heard of it. Cool yeah, place. It's with a producer named Wolfgang and Wolfgang. like uh, Easy Honey, they record yeah. there, and then like Eighty Seven Nights, and uh -huh. the Stews have demoed there. Preston so, mentioned that they're making yeah. some demos in Charleston, so that's where it's a pretty yeah. cool place, I guess. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty like, good drive from Auburn, though, right? It's surprising you guys would ride down there, right? Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we just like like we were just like googling or and like looking at some of our favorite songs, and yeah. he did some of like Future Birds and uh, sick some of Band of Horses and Susto, oh, and so we were like, oh, we love all those guys. Yeah. And then we just went there, and it was like perfect fit. Yeah, I hear there's something. Uh, they're always talking about Charleston, like something weird's happening down there with the music scene. I've never really it's cool. soaked it in. I've only done Uptown Social down there. You know that place? No, no, no. What's that place like? <laughs> yeah, it's tough, man. It's <laughs> tough, man. It's tough, man. But uh, yeah, you guys done the Royal American? Yeah. How yeah. was that? Yeah, we really played there with fast. Hotel Fiction. And oh, it was, they're awesome. It was like, that was one of and the Canon. most. And Canon. And Canon's yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. 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 I saw and, them all last night. They're cool. Yeah. Or night before, excuse me. Yeah, no, we we got to see him play yeah. uh, last night. They're they're so good. Hotel yeah. Fiction's obviously so good. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, that was like one of and Andrew is there, the legend, the cameraman over here that y'all can't see. <laughs> Cannon was the first band I ever had on the show. He was oh, like really? episode like three or something. Yeah, yeah. dude, legend. Yeah. Dude, he shreds. Yeah, man, he's a monster. He's yeah, a monster. He's so good. He's going yeah. crazy last night. So what? All right, you guys are located half in all or half in Birmingham now, right? Yeah. Is that what you said? And then these two in Nashville or mm -hmm. sweet? Yeah. What what brought you guys to Nashville? Just uh wanted to move out there or something? Yeah. I, uh -huh. I grew up in Nashville. Oh so I was, like moving back home. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, home gotcha. City. How much time are you guys spending on the road these days? Every weekend kind of thing or every yeah. weekend. Sweet. For, Thursday for through Saturday? Something like that. Yeah. 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 Even and though sometimes we, we live in different cities, we yeah. spend Wednesday. more days of the month <laughs> with them gotcha. than I do in my own house. So. so you guys just meet up somewhere in the middle or how does that work? Birmingham or Birmingham. Nashville. Like, yeah. So we'll go practice for like one day before and, yeah. then, and then leave like the next morning. Sick. And uh, I guess you guys are Atlas, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do all the booking for you, the wash burns, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah How's yeah. that been for you guys? Been really well? Dude. Game changer. Fantastic. Game changer. <laughs> Game changer. <laughs> I'm jealous, man. That's awesome. It's, it's I hear so they're wonderful. Oh, I've yeah, been trying awesome. to get them on the show. I've never met them, but I'm like, yeah, I'd love to talk about what you guys do. I'd That'd love cool. to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I hope cool. that happens. Yeah. If you yeah. see him, mention it. I've emailed him a few times, but he's a busy guy. Busy yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No, they're, yeah, they're so locked in on like what yeah. to do like they seem to be really good at it like fucking all the bands on the roster i'm like damn these are the bands that are killing it it's like they don't really miss you know what yeah. i mean i'm like what this whole little circuit of like i guess 87 nights easy honey stews you guys i think hotel fixtures on there right yeah, yeah, um yeah. a few others i'm happy like damn. landing happy yeah, landing yeah, yeah i know them yeah, yeah yeah uh i'm like damn these they're hitting batting really well right now Dude, so and, and they're they're homies like, yeah they're, they're cool they're, yeah super cool Relax. Interesting. So that changed the game for you guys when you guys stopped booking yourselves? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired of making phone calls? That was a relief. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was, at, towards the end, it was definitely all of us doing it. Um, that was a big relief. We were not yeah. nearly as successful at it as they are. So. Yeah. Interesting. And what kind of like, you guys have any favorite venues to play or like any notable shows in your runs? Like, I always like to hear about the any kind of shows where it's just like notable like that the one that comes to mind when i ask you about shows you know what i mean mm. that show honestly one of my favorites recently was yeah. gasa gasa in new orleans really like we it was our first time in new orleans i think yeah. we sold 15 tickets let's go which, like, that's good no, but the sound in that room was yeah. so good uh -huh. it just felt like loud and but warm and okay like, we just were relaxed and yeah. having a good time anybody else Mm. Any shows come to mind? I think my favorite show we've played is at Saturn. <laughs> yeah. We got a we got a one of their show again. Royal American. Royal American. Royal American. That was a party. Yeah, was we had like party. we had the last spot after Hotel Fiction, okay. but they were they were still like the headliner. So we had like mm -hmm. the late night set. 
Yeah. We got on at like 1130 okay. and it was so loud in there. And we were just like, the stage is, I feel like from this wall to you, oh, really? it is it's tiny. tiny. Really? It'd be like this corner kind yeah. of right? like what yeah. i thought it was a big place it's no, also it's... attached to the bar so you're mm, yeah. playing and the bartender can reach out and touch you so. poor guy oh man yeah. can oh, we yeah. get some shots up here <laughs> 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 no. that's awesome man what do you guys shows kind of like i hope i can catch you guys tonight i'm working a sound gig but uh do you know what time you're playing at tonight i think eight eight oh that might work mm -hmm. perfectly um what do you guys kind of shows like energy wise Is it like a high energy thing like you guys are like really jumping around kind of thing or like you guys are all pretty still and just like working on the performance or like what's wh how would you describe your show to a somebody who has not seen you such as myself i think pretty high energy mm -hmm. yeah. yeah very high energy it's it's like like good times music it's yeah. not like anything like like metal or anything like gotcha. not like that <laughs> like good vibes it's not yeah, metal yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not metal at all <laughs> we do not way. play metal music <laughs> but no we we get really into it and like yeah, and it, it's just fun to kind of yeah. engage. Do you guys like like you like taking songs places, or the arrangements pretty the same? Like a lot of guitar solos or drum breakdowns, or what are you guys doing? You know what I mean? We mix it up a ton. Yeah. We'll yeah. change a song yeah, like completely. Every week. Yeah, really. We'll be like, yeah, oh, we should try this new yeah. arrangement kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. do. Yeah, we've done like different vocal melodies before. What? Stuff. Yeah, sick man. So change awesome. the key. Yeah, if we've you have to. Damn, y'all know yeah. what keys are? Holy hell. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what key the song's in? We just know the Fuck. patterns and to move it up two <laughs> steps or move it down. Capo. But you A keep the stick. right pattern. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's in the key of Capo 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. No. Well, that's awesome, man. I really hope I can catch y'all tonight. Um, how have the... Uh, what's the name of the tour? Do you guys have a tour name right now? Or... What's the tour schedule been like? I'm trying to I'm trying to learn more about y'all's touring habits. I haven't seen a graphic or anything. So we have one up. Um, uh -huh. It's just like fall tour. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty much just all the weekends through December. And we're what? adding some as we go. So we'll be like next week we're doing Jam for Cam. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Which you guys ever seen videos of this damn thing? No. It's going to be fucking huge. Okay. Wait, really? It's, it's going to be yeah. ginormous. Like Let's go. In the thousands. Like high 5,000s, maybe 8,000, something like that. Can't wait. It's gonna be nuts, That's dude. Like, I'm, I'm very surprised you guys got that bill. Honestly, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like a little yeah. jealous. I was like, damn. I, I was like, I'm from here, you guys. Come on. Yeah, these dude. motherfuckers are from Auburn, man. <laughs> yeah, we saw the schedule and it's like y'all are going on at like 9:45. We're like, what? Like, oh, I thought we were playing good? at like like 8 a.m. Yeah. yeah, dude. 9:45 is gonna be rowdy, bro. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys know it's gonna be like literally every Greek life person in Athens goes this. Same, I think so. we're eight o'clock. Like to be exact. I think it's yeah. 8 o'clock start time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are excited about it. It's going to be great, man. Oh, yeah. Good lineup, too. Up. Good lineup, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Ripe. Yeah. Something yeah. Like? That's it. Yep. They're yep. dope. Yeah. Wim Tapley's really good. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys have heard of him. He's really good. Uh, Florida Man. I play with them. They're really cool. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna enjoy that. I think I think you guys should be stoked about this. Like, oh, I don't know how deep you guys are into the Athens Greek scene yet, but this is gonna uh, break a new one for you guys. <laughs> yeah. You guys are gonna be taken over after this, man. Yeah, it's a very good exposure opportunity Sweet. for the tunes, man. Really yeah. Uh, where else are you guys playing at? What's what else is on the list? Yeah, we were talking about Proud Larry's tomorrow. Okay. Um, Charleston next week with Vista Kicks. Vista, Vista Kicks. Kicks. I've heard of them. Vista I've heard of them. They're playing Georgia Theater too. I think. Where okay. are, are you guys at Roll American again? Poor House. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's the sister venue to the place I was talking about, Uptown Social. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So Poor House is better there. That's cool. Yeah, we're we're so excited about that one. And then a few shows with Mo Lauda and the Humble. Mo Lauda and the Humble. Never heard of them. Um, going to Charlotte two weeks and uh, the Dirty Govs. The Dirty Govs. Yeah. Oh, I hear they're good. really yeah, excited about good. that one. I hear they're That incredible. was one of Billy's cold calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it? Dirty Govs? <laughs> oh, yeah. The Vagabonds were. They were. I, I just would figure out how to get these people's number and just call them. Yeah. If you can get them on the phone, it's so much easier. They, then they have to talk to you. Yeah. And then what would you say? <laughs> what, would, what would your breakdown be like? Yo, we're a new band. Wait, I would just make you're it. on the phone with Billy trying to book a show. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's up, man? Who is this? Sell me this pen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll just give him a short sweet to the point. Yeah. Hi, we're from Auburn. We'd love to open for you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear our songs? And then yeah. hopefully they'd say yes. <clears throat> then I'll call them back repeatedly until I, I love that. yes. So. Got, got that hunger, man. Got that hunger. Wanted to play. What venue um, are you guys doing with them? Uh, the neighborhood Theater. Damn, sounds like a big one. 
<laughs> Sounds like a big one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little big loose change, man. Yeah. Well, good for y'all, man. Y'all are killing it. How do you guys like the to tour life? You like guys consider yourself a very live band or a very uh, would rather be in the studio kind of entity? That's hard. Yeah. I recently I've, I've been just like loving the studio. I think we all four have just like the okay. studio has just been incredible. Yeah. But every now, like you just get those shows that you're like, this is what it's all about. It's wonderful. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. So. That's awesome, man. How, what kind of ratio have you guys got the covers down to at this point? Because I imagine you have, what, 10 songs out, something like that? Mm-hmm. Uh, 10 have, in the tank, probably, right? Uh, yeah. On the yes. album and stuff. So about, like, we'll consistently play, like, 15 of our own songs. Awesome. Or mm-hmm. probably around. Yeah. Lot, I mean, man. if we have, like, an hour hour set list and it's yeah. our show, then we're playing our music. All original. But if, it, if we're at a fraternity and we got a little time time mm-hmm. to kill, then... We'll bust out some of our sweet man. Well, that songs that 15's that we're a lot, with. man. 15's yeah. a lot. We Sounds like play for an hour and a half almost straight of originals. That's so. sick, man. Good for y'all. Good for y'all. Feels good. And is there been any laws like? I mean, um, is it tough to like out of that fifteen? Like, is it tough to sell that to a fraternity? I guess you know what I mean. Or has it been like, oh man, maybe we need to give them a cover now, kind of thing? Or has it been that'd be a feeling thing? Yeah, that's like that's like <laughs> you start playing and you're like. Oh, they're starting to like talk or whatever. So then uh, you throw in a cover after that. Get like, them, keep them hooked in a little yeah, while. It's like a whole thing. Just, also, <laughs> it, it's mostly just trying to make it fun for everyone. Yeah, like, yeah. You gotta be aware, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I thought saying? it'd be harder to like sell ourselves as an original band going mm-hmm. to fraternities, <laughs> yeah. but the most part, it's like they want to hear our music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, once you kind of realize that, it kind of changes the game. It's yeah. like, oh, maybe like, they... Oh, this is the best of both worlds now. Yeah, like this they'll like fun. us if they if they if you just get out there and sell it, you know? Like mm-hmm. uh, deep down, they do kind of just want something new to hear. You yeah, know? people so, want something fresh. Yeah, I agree, I agree. There's a big realization, though, because at the start, it's like, man, they're not going to like us if we exactly. don't play this song. You know it's like I mean? a leap of faith. <laughs> yeah, but once you do, it's like the best thing ever. That's what that's how I kind of look up to the studios, because it seems to me like they never really did the, the cover thing. I don't mean, I know they did a couple or whatever, but... uh. I'm always talking about it. after we play with them. I was like, "Those motherfuckers are good, bro. They are so good." I was, I was like, honestly, a little sad for two days after we played. Them. I was like, "They're so goddamn good." I'm like, <laughs> I get it. I was like, I've got shit to work on, bro. <laughs> oh, they, uh, they motivate us like I crazy. I know, dude. They're an inspiration, man. Everybody yeah. in Statesboro knew their songs, and they only played there once, and they did, you know, like 400 pre-sales or some shit. I was like, these Wait, guys, that was when you went on stage for nine to five. Yeah, I played nine to five with it, dude. So sick. It was electric, bro. <laughs> yeah. It was like, I was like, dude, you guys, that was like the coolest, one of my coolest musical moments ever. Like, they uh, fucking Wyatt had the gun, was spraying it. It was like an like air gun. It was <laughs> oh. cool, man. It was nuts. But yeah, yeah. anyways, there, there. Is there any other bands you guys look up to other than them, kind of, or do you anybody in particular that you're like, oh, these guys are killing it. We should try to do something like that. There's been a few. It kind of mm-hmm. evolves. There's been a Parcels was at the very Parcels. start of our band. It was huge. That Jackson showed us them one day, and it yeah. was like a whole new world. They're, they're, ama- they're absolutely amazing. P-A-R-C-E-L-S? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and look up uh, Live Volume 1 on YouTube. Live volume. One. Like, you should need to put it on TV and then just, yeah. like, sit back and be like, Oh wow, these guys! <laughs> like, yeah. soak it in. You'll be like, "How did I not know about this?" Yeah, before I'm big YouTube show guy, so yeah. I'll, I'll do that for sure, yeah. man. Work. They they set the bar for like excellence. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Just like playing wise or like show wise or everything. They're probably the they, tightest band you'll hear in a while. They're all Sick, like hot man. too. They're killing it. They have everything <laughs> dialed in, <laughs> no, and they're yeah. amazing. Zero. They don't miss notes. Yeah, wow, just, they've got it all. They've got it they're all. They're in like yeah. leather pants. And then they're like, they're sick. They're, they're sick. Australian. <laughs> yeah, they're just cool. So they started. <laughs> they started with like da- this like Daft Punk kind of vibe yeah. going on, but mm-hmm. they all like play the instruments live and sing like the like four or five part harmonies okay and then recently they've just been playing like edm music what? with their instruments so it's like the drummer's like boots, 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 like yeah. and like they're just playing edm it's okay. crazy that's hype man i'm about to give them a listen i'm excited about that yeah. anybody else anybody locally i guess like anybody on atlas or anything like that or oh yeah i mean yeah yeah most of them Definitely like yeah. the Vagabonds. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, they, I've never seen them, dude. I, I want to really bad. Dude, they, cool. they have such a tight show, and yeah. like they they take it really seriously, like yeah. with getting a good show going. They're they're awesome. Word. And they they've given us such a like big opportunity in a lot of ways. Yeah. So it's like these dudes are just the man. Like that's awesome. I, like love those guys. What was some big hurdles you guys kind of ran across? Because I'm sure there was some. It's like maybe anything in the first three years that sticks out where it was like, all right, we really struggled with this or that. Or was it like, 
finding a direction kind of thing or was everything pretty smooth? I imagine there's got to be something. Anything come to mind? Definitely. Of a few things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what you got? Let's hash them out. I had to learn how to write as a group. That was like harder yeah. than that, that, was, that was a big thing for me. Yeah. Like overcoming how to like just four creative minds yeah. coming together trying to do one thing. Uh-huh. I struggle with that. Like just how to appropriately give your input yeah. and actually giving everyone else's input a look. Yeah. Harder than you think, you know what I mean? Way harder than yeah. I thought it would be. Interesting. Um, Anybody but very else? Very rewarding. Yes, when you can pull it off, it's the best, man. It's the best. Booking. Booking. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was a struggle. That was a big and one. We had some dark months there. We're pretty like <laughs> <laughs> like there's not a there's not a band leader. Like we're all, yeah. it's just the four of us. Okay. And so I think initiative can be hard. Like yeah. all yeah. of us trying to you know, like Griffin will take care He's of it. He's smiling there. Or there. like <laughs> or Robert Robert will take care of it. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Just, just Get in a direction. And so you guys are pretty much a democracy, I guess. Everything you guys yeah, vote yeah. on stuff or yeah. something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Interesting. That's tough sometimes, man. I'm surprised y'all pull it off. Democracy. Yeah, it is, it is hard. Yeah. But I say. But like you were saying, it's rewarding yes. when it works out. When yeah. it works, it's wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of bands on here. Not many of them pull off the democracy very well. There's usually one to two big hitters that are hidden. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So good for y'all, man. That's awesome. You guys yeah. ever get any big arguments, anything? <laughs> Every day. Every oh, day. Yeah, that's part of it. Wait, I'm trying to think, like, what? <laughs> Luckily, we're all, like, such good friends. Like, I yeah. grew up with three of them. Like, Griffin, like, like institutionalized. So, so quick was, like, a best friend of mine. Yeah. And so we can argue well, I yeah. guess. It's very constructive normally. Gotcha. There's exceptions, but <laughs> it's, like, no one really takes it personally, I guess. It's mm-hmm. super nice. It's like, hey, that was a bad idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Agreed. Right. Yeah. And like, no one holds grudges either. Like, yeah. even if we'd have a fight, like five minutes yeah. later, we're cool about it. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. You kind of have to be to spend that much time in the vehicle together, you know? That's We've true. kind yeah. of fallen into our positions in the band uh-huh. a little bit. Uh-huh. Rob's the money guy, accounting okay. major. <laughs> Anything money-wise, he handles. Jackson's like an accomplished graphic designer. Yeah. So you see any of our album art, posters. Sick. Any of that. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, all of our merch. Super, really? Talk about a very valuable asset to a band, graphic designer. So having that's, that. That's huge. You'll save yeah. yourself a fortune. A fucking oh, yeah. million dollers having a designer in the yeah. band, no, bro. It's, that's that's fun. it's been a blessing. So. Yeah, that's great, man. Wonderful. I let you down there. What do you think? I feel like I'm not getting enough out of this young man down here. I want a little yeah. more za, a little more za down there. Um, I think, I mean, overcoming, I feel like the the live sound was the biggest thing to overcome, I think. Really? Like running our own sound. Yeah. Like, just none of us had any, like, background in sound. And so, uh-huh. it was like, first couple shows was just kind of a train wreck. Yeah. Uh, a lot of feedback. And I, <laughs> I you, like, uh, he feedback. hates feedback. Really? Griffin, yeah. like, go, like has this, like, rage part of his mind that happens. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it out of him, man. Like, yeah. like feedback happens, and he's, like... It's like, like PTSD or something for me. It yeah. really is. Okay. He, like, like it hurts every single bone of my body. Oh, wow. Okay. It, it's wild. So who started up running sound? You guys do it together or something? Or bought a PA system kind of thing, right? We never overcame that challenge completely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackson, tonight. Jackson got like is pretty good at running sound though. Okay. Mm. Okay. You were too. You feel like y'all tag team majority of that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah. I do like setup and he does like EQ. Yeah. yeah. Word. Okay. It's it's a tougher thing than you'd imagine. Not many people talk about it, but running your own sound sucks. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it sucks. sucks. It, it literally suck. sucks. So a lot of you guys gigs now, though, I guess with Atlas, like you're getting a lot of production provided kind of mm-hmm. stuff, right? Yeah, there'll still be nice. one that we have to run, though, like every now yeah. and then. You guys tour with the PA system? Uh, When when we have to run sound. Gotcha. So we don't have one with us. Interesting. Okay, yeah. sweet. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. You'd be amazed. Like to me, like I'm very much uh, charging for whether I have to show up and set a whole PA up or just like walk into a venue and like set my guitar amp up. Like That's the crazy. amount of effort for those two things is like unbelievably different, you know? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It is so. n- different shows almost. Yeah, it is, like, man. It is. Yeah. Nothing about, nothing like having a good stage too, man. I'm tired of playing these uh these fraternity stages, man. They're all a little shaky, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. The little little frat rack things. What do they call them? Uh, the boards, you know what I'm talking about? They're like yay high, like yeah, just yeah. high enough. And, and they're from, like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> tripping. My mic stand is like at an angle, you know? Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. Leaning things, sideways. Things we we played a, a really big show in Auburn yeah. a few weeks back. Had a huge stage, massive uh-huh. production. It was so much fun. Sweet. And we had a opening opening band. Um, and they're, you know, they played on that stage too. And they're yeah. like, gosh, like this stage is awesome. Like normally yeah. we play on like patios and stuff. And we're like, yeah. dude, we're, 
we're playing on a patio next weekend. Like we don't do this. <laughs> you know, this is awesome. not our normal production <laughs> package. You guys know who Andy Frasco is? You ever heard that name? No. Yeah. Uh, there's these quote he has. Like you know he like tours a lot. He's like a big touring entity. He's like red rocks to parking lots, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. that's like kind of exactly how it is, man. It's yeah. interesting. I mean, obviously, you know what I'm saying. But like, uh, we did a Clemson Mountain Weekend. We played on a tarp. Oh, yeah. We played on a Mountain tarp. Weekend. It was like, yes, it was good. That was good. Those are so much fun. They're so much fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, I forgot cool. where I was going with this. Okay, running your own sound. So like, once you got that was a big hurdle for you, or you know yeah. what I mean. That, you had to get over the feedback, piercing the ears, kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are gonna be sounding nice tonight. I hope you know that. Uh, yeah. Does Vegamon tour with Sound Guy? You guys tour with Sound Guy? Nah, they don't. we don't. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh well, the, you guys are in for a treat, man. It's gonna be nice tonight. I'm excited for y'all. Uh, I'm gonna have to slide in there, man. I'm running sound for a band at Boar's Head, which up the street tonight. But um, I might I might decommission that uh, load in time till nine if I can do it. Yeah. yeah, come on, dude. What was some other stuff? Like, I guess I'm just trying to figure out like, uh, like you guys figuring your way. Like, how do you guys feel about the current like trajectory of the band and like what you guys are doing? Is there any like discontent like oh i'd love really love to get past these kind of shows i'd really love to do more of this I'd really love to do more 45 minute sets or more fraternity stuff i'd love to be more profitable like what's what's the current stat- status quo excuse me right now we're pretty focused on our album okay. like because we're getting all of that mixed like yeah. right now like and trying to just finish that up and we just want to put that out like yeah. and start promoting that like okay. on the road and stuff because we play a lot of the songs but it's like no one has anything to go like hold on to when they go home yeah so just having that and then and, and like like uh when you say hold on you like being like vinyl <coughs> like getting vinyls and stuff made like making well, it it's just not out yet or oh, so they okay. can't gotcha. like being gotcha. able to like listen to it on the way home like oh i found that song we like yeah. you know like stuff yeah. like that uh-huh um because it gets good reception but then there's just like nothing after that so gotcha having that out is going to be really awesome the medium yeah and this will be you guys first album right was it yeah. tough to come up with how many songs is it 10 10 was it tough to come up with 10 songs that are like uh cohesive enough to be an album or did you guys not even worry about that or it was weirdly easy weirdly yeah. easy yeah we got into the studio first two days went pretty well then we hit that yeah. third day and ever we we probably done like what, nine ten days total since then in the studio maybe yeah, maybe, maybe like two that. weeks worth but since then it was like song idea and then uh-huh. you know we got basically everything in that song figured out by the end of the day Sick. i think the That's cohesiveness kind of came from the space that we recorded yeah. in which called the space but the charleston spot right yeah, yeah. Okay. wolf king's so awesome to work oh, with it's a cool name he's very good at setting the vibes and just yeah. getting us in there and that room kind of spurred Interesting. a lot of the songs themselves so i'm gonna have to look into this place i've been looking for a new studio i'm kind of excited that's cool oh yeah yeah, yeah highly recommend. to be suggested highly recommend. Yeah. yeah for sure interesting and you guys have like a whole like i imagine you have like some kind of i guess this is the non-fun stuff but like the release plan going like the strategy and whatnot the singles and all that kind of stuff or nah yeah we do yeah we do it's like we're between the original plan we wanted to do was like two eps okay and then a double ep yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> double ep is an album <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to have like all those releases on spotify yeah you got to kind of play to the you kind of have to a little yeah bit. i agree um but now we, we've kind of been thinking maybe just put out like like Five, four, five singles, and then drop the album yeah. or something like that. I like that number of singles. I think it's good because sometimes you put stuff out and like uh, ones you really love that aren't singles. It's like, damn, I just wonder, you know, if it if it had done better if you'd have dropped it as a single. Like it gets mm-hmm. that focus, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah. modern thing, I guess, which is cool. Yeah. But I think it's cool that you guys made a full album. I mean, ten songs. That's that's exciting. Not many, not enough bands are making full albums that are cohesive and everything, you know. So that's cool. Yeah, we're stoked about it. Was that uh was that like automatically on the to-do list? Like we're going to be an album band kind of thing or I mean, yeah. obviously you made the EP, of course, but like that's just you finding your way, right? Is it albums from here on out probably? I see how this does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. I hope so? Yeah. Def- yeah, definitely a feeling of like it's like a band should make an album. You yeah. know what I mean? That's like, your medium. Like like at some point you got to make an album. Yeah. Um and then, like, because there's a lot of bands that are like, put out an album, and then after that, like, uh-huh. might do just like singles, and then just get, and that that's really cool. Okay. Like, I know Okie Dokie. Like, yeah, I've heard of them. That band, they uh. they'll put out their whole album as singles. 
okay. and just like kill it on Spotify yeah. and then drop the album. So it's kind of just figuring out ways to like make like it interesting, work the system a little bit. Yeah, because it's tough when you have like, I mean, how many songs do you guys think on the record could be singles? Like, how many do you guys feel that strongly about? I mean, I like all the songs. <laughs> all ten, <laughs> probably like seven or eight. Probably seven, realistic. Like all ten could be singles. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man, good for y'all, dude. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, even the ones that were, I think, unanimously like together on that's not going to be a single. Yeah, we've gotten people that are like, oh yeah, that's your single. Really? Like, oh, dang. shit. <laughs> yeah, that's Feels a good really problem. Good. Feels yeah. really good. That's a good problem to have, man. Well, it sounds like you guys aren't having any creativity issues. You know what I mean? Like you cranking out songs and writing them in a single day in the studio that seems to be very natural right yeah i mean i think suspiciously natural suspiciously the, natural that's a good album name we just were <laughs> yeah dude. good band go. we were just recording ah, while we were hot uh-huh. and i i mean right now we're done with writing for the album okay um i think it kind of dried up to some degree yeah i don't know if it actually dried up or yeah. we were just we just decided to cap it you just knew, like I feel like your mind kind of. We got ten got songs, it. and yeah. that was it's just like a clean ten song album. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting, man. That's exciting. Good for y'all, man. Because like, uh, it's tough to come up with that many songs. That's a lot of music. Like, good yeah. for y'all to come up with that. How long do you think the runtime is? An hour? Every uh, song, it's, like, it's still 30, pretty short. Pretty short. Like we have three 40. songs that yeah. kind of run together. Uh-huh. Like the trilogy we were talking about. Yeah, the um, medley. But one yeah. of those is like a minute and a half. Oh, really? One of them's like two minutes. I so, like that though. Yeah, because like I think it's going to be under. It might it's going to be like, like right at thirty minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, sick! So man. quick listen, digestible. Yeah, I think that's good, man. I think uh, uh, I guess maybe I'm thinking of jam bands, but like a lot of jam southern rock bands have the tendency to drag these kind of things out. You know what I mean? Like a lot of six and a half verse and sevens. <clears throat> and to me, I've always hated that too, because like you wonder after you're like, if that one's shorter, would it have done better? Or you yeah, know, like would people yeah. like that more? You know. And when you play it live, I really hate to be locked into six and a half minutes, you know, if something's not yeah. working, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if people have time to listen to like an hour long debuted album either. Yeah, that's a long from, album. Like, yeah. Supper Club from Auburn. You're like, I don't know who these guys are. <laughs> an hour yeah. long yeah. album? Yeah, you start <laughs> scrolling, through, <laughs> scrolling through those deep tracks. You're like, yeah. okay, guys. All right. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite song from the album each? I guess this will age well when it comes out, but we'll just, we'll just wonder about the titles for now. Favorite song or even top three? Let's go top two. Um, probably the first part of the trilogy. Okay, the first two. Uh, yeah, the, or the very first song on the trilogy. Okay, and maybe, maybe alone in my car. Alone in my car. Yeah. Any any disagreements with that? How are we feeling on that? Pretty solid tracks. Those solid tracks. Okay. Solid. How about right here? I'd say the second song on the trilogy. Okay. Is my favorite. Good look for the trilogy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. That or now, party's not over. It's kind of the, the disco track. Sounds disco. Um, I was pretty uh, hesitant about that one at first, yeah. just because it's pretty out there for us. Okay. okay. Um, but I'm excited to see what that does. It's exciting. Oh, yeah. Sweet. How about you? Yeah, I think every song at some point has been my favorite song. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very. Um, right now, part three of the trilogy, uh-huh. and <laughs> we've <laughs> all gone trilogy. And our single coming out next week, Wichita. Wichita. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Sweet. Part, Good look for the part trilogy. Four of the trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's one we have called Shaman Blues. Shaman Blues. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that was That's like awesome. that was our first song that because we did some pre production for like uh like three of the songs with a friend in Auburn. Yeah. And um named Harry Kane. He's a great producer. Okay. He's he like turned his house into like a studio and we just Sick. Recorded in there, and yeah. but it was our first song that we like all got like locked in, <laughs> where we were like, okay, this is how Supper Club sounds. Okay, you know? yeah, yeah. So that was like a turning point. Yeah. And I think just playing that song, you can just feel like it just has a certain thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. just a certain. You guys thing. have you you've been playing the whole album live, I imagine, right? Oh yes. You guys have a favorite one to play live off the album each? I like these kind of questions just because I'll I'll be able to listen to the album later and be like, okay. That makes sense, you know. Trilogy. 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 Yeah. That's yeah. so much Down fun. there? He's thinking still. Trilogy's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Trilogy's high. It's high. I think Shaman Blues. Yeah? Yeah. yeah there's fun. like an opening. Okay. Because we originally recorded it like a lot longer. Yeah. And then we, so we recorded everything with Wolfgang uh-huh. and Charleston. And then we met this guy in Nashville. <laughs> okay. Uh, This like old dude, like in the industry a long time. Yeah. 
recorded a bunch of re-recorded everything with them like okay. seven songs in like three days word and then ended up like not going in that direction but we yeah. he cut down some of our songs okay arrangement wise yeah just like kind of gave pointers like maybe we should make it like not maybe not as long yeah and so then we went back to charleston like kind of rework some of them uh-huh and so now sean blues used to be like kind of slower intro but now it has this like super cool riff at the beginning yeah and coming okay. out that riff just feels good sweet i'll take that answer any day sweet i can't wait to hear this you guys might have to drop me the private soundcloud link absolutely i want to hear it we, oh, we really can, bad we can listen to it after this. i will oh, say I would love for to. Uh, future listeners we've been talking about the trilogy a lot that's not going to be the name <laughs> if you're trying to find it <laughs> all this we, is we don't make have it no sense yet. yeah okay but gotcha. put it in the comments <laughs> <laughs> please drop your trilogy name yeah. <laughs> is it so is it like is it one or is it three it's, it's three. three. So songs. it's three, right? But they're not all one track. Is that what you're saying? It'll be right. It'll be three, it'll be three separate, separate tracks. tracks. Yeah, okay, but they sweet. just like flow into each other. Yeah. In the trilogy live, we started doing this thing where like I'll be on bongos. <laughs> he has like a beer bottle and he has a tambourine, and we're doing this whole like drum thing. Percussion. Yeah, just yeah. like tribal. It's tribal drums. It's a percussion break. And that was one of those things where we were like, what are we doing? But yeah. Like, this is fun. I'm excited to hear this, man. Uh, yeah. I want to take a quick second. I haven't thanked my sponsor yet, have I? I forgot, I don't man. Think so. yeah, it's no, getting no, late in the episode. Oh, we're 66 <laughs> minutes in. Good Lord. Um, I want to thank our sponsor today, Clark's Collective. Wonderful bar in downtown Athens. You guys ever been there? You ever heard of it? It's next to Jordan Theater. So you'll see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a wonderful place. They've been yeah. having a lot of bands. They've got a little corner where they have bands and, uh, They've literally like rebranded themselves from just a bar to like they're having bands like every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which I love. Yeah. And any bands trying to get in there, give me a text or a DM on Instagram and we'll get you in there. Uh, shout out Clark Collective. So yeah, moving along, let's kind of get into the closing notes kind of thing. We're an hour, hour 10 in the sky almost. Uh, where do you guys kind of hope to be in the next year or so? Like, is there like a game plan? Like we'd love to be doing this in the next year or is it just like you guys are really rolling with the punches kind of thing? Um, like what, what this time next year, what would you be disappointed if you weren't at, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Maybe like places you're playing, like having the album out, that kind of stuff. Big question. I know. Definitely I, be disappointed if the album was not out. Yeah. That'd be <laughs> absolutely hard. Very disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's been the main thing is like, let's just finish this album yeah. and make it perfect. And but yeah. then roll with the punches from there. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of Let the, the word. year depends on how well this fall tour ends up going and okay. how well the album does. I think that's going to determine what kind of shows we play, yeah. uh, how many shows we play, okay. um, that kind of stuff in the future. I think a lot relies on this album and promoting the album and putting it out. So Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Interesting. And Agreed. just like seeing like different markets having yeah. like ticket sales and meeting new people. and uh-huh. um, Yeah, it's just a lot of fun to play for people. And that's like yeah. just being able to do that at like our like full capacity is when you say different markets is there anywhere in particular you're focused on i mean i'd like to get out to colorado like yeah. texas and maybe like west coast at some point yeah would be so you guys are like hammering dream. to like sec acc right now right kind of yeah 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 interesting yeah it's, it's kind of tough though because like i mean obviously you guys know it's like if i went to new orleans i wouldn't do 15 tickets you know what i mean i don't know soul up there it's like how do you do that without i mean i guess you got to get on the bill of other bands i guess right but you mm-hmm. got to have enough clout to do such you know what i'm saying yeah. so has that been a struggle finding other bands to play with or not nah? yeah it's, a little it's bit all, sometimes it's always yeah, yeah when you're going to a new place just knowing who to get yeah um, and like what the best direction is but uh-huh. it's it's the best meeting those local openers yeah. like at those shows and like they'll be playing like amazing music and yeah. we just get to be like oh these dudes are awesome Sick. Yeah. yeah you guys have a favorite band you played with that's tough. That's tough, man. Will Rosner in New Orleans was really good. Um, Will Rosner. Will Rosner. I mean, like we hadn't heard of yeah. at, heard of him at all, but he he kind of has like a grungy, like vibe. indie grungy vibe. But they were else got any favorites? One of the wildest bills that we've ever been on in terms of just very different bands. We yeah. put it the Nick one night. The Nick. Um, Nick. Legendary that's a place. Venue. That's a place. Legendary. Oh venue. yeah, that's. That's definitely the best. And we Wait. played, well, Rob's really followed them a good bit. You could probably touch more on them than I Well, could. we just got on this bill with like two Brooklyn bands. Okay. One was indie rock, yeah. punk rock, Strokesy. Okay. Um, then the other one was like this post punk, I don't know, like Hardcore. noise noise rock yeah. band called Catcher. Catcher. But Catcher and Ben Steller, and both of them have like mm-hmm. 
really blown up since really? we uh, played with him. But it was just a, a really random bill. Yeah. But it was super fun. It was good. How was the Nick? Mm-hmm. How many tickets you guys do? I've done some low ticket sales at the Nick. Yeah. I've struggled at the Nick a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's a ride of I have no idea how many tickets <laughs> yeah. we sold there. there. It was fun. I think it we split like 90 bucks. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Iconic, man. Iconic. Yeah. We got a hot dog outside. Let's go. Game. Hey, that catering's good, man. So good. So yeah, good. It's pretty In good. Pretty good. Yeah. I love that, man. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Preston told me to ask you guys something. I was talking to him. He told me to tell you guys hello as well. Hello, Preston. Uh, he Preston. said from the whole band, actually. He Hello, said, oddest dudes. experience you, with another band they had played with. Odd, <laughs> oddest experience with another band you played with. Is he, is he alluding to something we've done with them? That's what I wonder. That's what I wondered. What I wondered. <laughs> no. We played with this band of stews, and they were fucking weirdos, They're man. so weird, dude. <laughs> oh. Oddest. Anything come to mind? Mm. <laughs> Deep thought. That is. It's an interesting. It's a great question, Preston. <laughs> Good user entry there. I'm like scanning all the shows. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what we've done with them. That <laughs> what about the Drew that. City Social when we were going to play with that crazy psych rock band? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so we booked through. Have you heard of, what is it called? Fanflex? Fanflex? No. Was that Fanflex? Was yeah, that was Fanflex. That was Re- Fanflex. Re- not Repsy. It was Fanflex. It was Fanflex. Yeah. So back in the day when we were like doing everything ourselves and had no idea what we were doing, we got contacted by this like random booking company from California called Fanflex. Interesting. I feel like they're out of business now. It was was really (laughs) bad business. Yeah, they would they would just like put random bills together in really random markets like Ozark, Alabama. Okay. Having no idea what the bands were or the venue. Yeah, and they put us in this. They're actually a really cool band. I can't remember their name though, but they were really heavy psych rock. Okay, and we, it was borderline metal. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it was metal. good matchup. <laughs> but Drew City Social in yeah. Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa right? yeah. they were like, "Hey, we have no idea uh, what this company is that put this band together, and, and like they won't answer our phone calls, but." Y'all make sure y'all know that this other band is not playing with y'all tonight. And we're okay. like, okay, <laughs> sweet, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, we'll do whatever. Yeah, that was yeah. That and then they showed experience. up or what? No, no. We uh, we ended up not telling them. We were like, hey, we don't want to tell this band not to show up because we yeah. want to listen to them play because they have cool music in our yeah. opinion. Uh-huh. And you know, I, I get why maybe a venue owner at a college bar might Would not, not want, want yeah. that kind of music. But Drew, it's social too. <laughs> yeah, so like we're, we're like, you're going to have to tell them. We're not telling them that. So, <laughs> we'd love to play with them at some point. But. In the future. We'll put it together eventually. Yeah. but they, <laughs> how, uh, how was that place? I talked to that guy this week. Because I've done the booth a lot. You guys done the booth? So the booth? we did it during the summer mm-hmm. on a weird night. Yeah. It was uh, pretty empty to say the least. Yeah. But I've heard... From yeah. locals such as our cameraman here, uh-huh. that you it's can actually Tuscaloosa. throw together a uh, a pretty pretty good show there. Yeah, yeah. So. From Tuscaloosa. I went to school there. Yeah. Oh, word. Go go, Todd, baby. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, uh, they were a good bar. They with the local bands. They always yeah. like really looked after the local scene and really yeah. took care. I, I feel like it's hard for bands from out of town, but. It's kind of a weird spot. Tuscaloosa is a little weird to me. I can't really figure it out. Like yeah, I used to do. Yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah, Grocery yeah. Brew Pub? Do you know what I'm yeah. talking about? Oh, yeah. We used to do the shit out of that Crazy. place. I kind of like that stage, but the money was awful, bro. It was yeah. a good time though. Dude, uh, the same sense. with the booth. It's like a little little tiny stage, but I like. I don't hate playing there. It's not bad. They had like the yeah. football game on while we were playing. <laughs> oh yeah, the screen behind us. God yeah, damn. <laughs> I was like, bro, like at least put my logo up there. So, yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> like, turn like are you guys off. even looking at me? People are like looking like this up at you. You're like, like yeah, bro. they're looking, and then they're like, oh, and you're like. Oh, but this week, I was talking to the guy that books the booth, who who also books uh, Druid City, and he was like. He's like, man, let's try you guys over at Druid City for a change. And I was like, word. And then I saw uh, like Preston's videos of them playing Druid Music Hall. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, Druid looks lit as fuck. <laughs> I was like, this place is huge, bro. And they got a yeah. nice state. I was like, this place is nuts. And then I was like, oh, that's not the same place. <laughs> I was like, yeah. like, that's definitely not it. <laughs> yeah. Druid City Social has a big stage, though. It's just Do like they? whether anyone comes out there. Yeah, weird. Yeah, it's like pretty big. Interesting. What is it? I mean, what's like the closest city you guys have played that compares to Auburn? Because I've never done Auburn. I'm doing 17, 16 in November. I'm excited about that. Okay, awesome. But uh, I'm trying to like figure it out kind of. It's kind of weird. Closest to Auburn. I mean, is it like Tuscaloosa or no? The city itself yeah. is like Clemson. Yeah. Okay. 
smaller similar kind of, different vibe but different like, vibe pretty, yeah pretty comparable interesting you guys like playing 1760 pretty cool um yeah yeah it's yeah. A, it's the outdoor the new outdoor yeah the patio thing is so cool. sick we've played a few shows inside okay. which the inside is super fun yeah but it, it was it's like one of those three hour gig places yeah for sure we're just like you're hitting like 30 minute jams by the end of it like that kind <laughs> of vibe, which is super fun but uh the outdoors like that's the spot okay it's like, sweet i think that's what i'm doing it's like a wednesday though which i thought was kind of weird it's like wednesday's a thing here yeah okay weird yeah i think we played wednesday yeah. well wednesdays thursday yeah. maybe yeah, interesting how about southeastern you guys ever do there yeah, yeah we the, have the stage yeah. is nice though sound in there is kind of weird that's what everybody yeah. says metal yeah. ceilings it's like a echoey. tin can room Very, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, sweet. What would you, I guess let's get the closing notes here. I'm trying to kind of bring it around to point, but uh, what do you guys, hmm, how do I want to ask this? Um, Where do you guys kind of hope that the album does for you? Do you hope it just like gets you better bills, more fans kind of stuff? Or like, what is the, what would the album to, for you to consider it a success? What would it be? I mean, obviously it's a success. You already recorded it. That's, that's half mm -hmm. the battle, you know, but like, uh, what, what do you hope for it? I guess. Yeah, I guess elevate the shows we're playing. Okay, as um, in like people knowing the songs, kind of stuff, or that 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 would be that'd be that'd huge, be great. <laughs> yeah, that'd be um, wonderful, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think there's kind of a what's the word I'm looking for? Legitimizes a band, uh -huh. I guess, a little bit when you put out an album. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of hopeful that happens, uh, right. and which helps just get better shows. Um, yeah, that would be be huge. Yeah, that's I, I think we. Maybe all have different yeah. personal goals for it. But. Any other? Anybody else? I f I feel like uh, just like we've put so much effort into this album, and just like uh, just long hours in the studio of us uh -huh. like really listening to each other play and getting the right take too. Yeah, that it's like I I kind of hope just like the people that are listening kind of feel that too. You know, because yeah. there's. Right now, there's no way to tell if like the feeling in the studio is gonna convey through Ooh. Spotify. So it's like, interesting. Like I really hope it does. Like yeah, that, that's kind of the goal. It's just like that's a good answer. We had a ton of clip fun. that. That's a good clip. Yeah. Clip. Anybody else? I mean, yeah, no? we had a ton of fun making it. We that's hope good. people have fun listening to it. That's awesome, man. I'm excited to hear it, man. I'm happy for you guys. Um, I want to do like a, a few like random questions, and we'll get out of here, you guys. It's been seventy eight minutes, so that's how you know it's a good episode. <laughs> yeah, if, it really goes yeah. an hour, if it goes an hour twenty, you're doing pretty good. Um, let me think. If you guys could play with any band, current of any size, and any band past of any size, what would you two be? I mean, like it could be anybody. Be fucking Led Zeppelin, you know what I mean? Any band still active, and then a band that's not active. I feel bad playing before Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> Tough yeah. Bill. Yeah. yeah, that's a great question. Excellent. I'll give you guys time to ponder upon it. I would love to play with my morning jacket. That's like one of my favorite bands of all time, yeah. and I feel like our sound takes could works from them a little bit, or at yeah. least my, I know mine does. But, yeah. So I think that would be. A great answer fit great and answer and they're still going right they're touring oh, they're, yeah right oh yeah they just got off a massive tour so current love it love it anybody else got some favorites I'm trying to think some old ones maybe like the stones that'd be <laughs> sick <laughs> man that'd be like stones in the peak <laughs> yeah just in like, like 78 or something yeah we do so much better than them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm not saying that i'm saying like oh we gotta actually we gotta go hard uh, yeah. <laughs> Stones would be cool. Stones yeah. would be very cool. We've been watching a lot of stone, like old Stones live videos recently, like in the van. Yeah. And those dudes are just monsters, bro. Electric. Yeah. Nuts. Griffin loves the Stones. Yeah. I like watching their Madison Square Garden ones. I do like like the one where they, they think's a bad show. I, I really like that one. I feel like yeah, they did it right. Like, yeah. It's like <laughs> geeking. Yeah. They have a really great documentary. You ever seen Crossfire Hurricane, the documentary? No. You ever seen that? Uh-uh. Essential Watch, you should check out. Mm. Great documentary. Is that the first line of. I was born. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. Born. I heard that. Yeah. That's a, we've yeah, been playing that one we recently. That's a great that song. So much fun. That's a fun song to play. That's so dude. much fun. It's all right. In fact, it's the last. <laughs> all right, anybody else got any answers? I feel like you're, you're plotting down there. What you got? Uh, I'm thinking maybe Wilco for mm. like current band still touring. Yeah, that'd be sick. And maybe the band for like uh -huh. historic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Reasons? Love that. Love that. Who are we missing answers from? These two guys? You guys still mm-hmm. thinking? Well, no, you said the Stones. I'm thinking current. Who's your current? I'll say parcels for current. I oh, think really? our mindset for that and how nervous we would be would be like off the charts. It would be like a week long panic attack. We would be practicing. I think I'll try to back out. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, some self sabotage going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's essential for a good set. <laughs> or like, or like Tame Impala. Or oh that would be yeah, sick. that would be really cool. Yeah, like they're the sickest. <laughs> they're that would be wicked. Their like visuals are crazy, oh bro. Their show, yeah. right? Isn't that them with the crazy mm-hmm. like yeah, spacey thing? They have that like spinning light. Yeah, that'd be yeah. nuts. They're like the just the coolest band. Oh, good answers, fellas. It's a pleasure having y'all on, man. Really appreciate yeah, man. y'all. Do you guys Thank have anything you. you want to tell the camera? Any closing notes? Like maybe your Instagrams and what to follow and all that shit or what, what they should be expecting in the singles, that kind of stuff? Yeah, follow at Supper Club Music on uh, Instagram. Wichita yeah. next week, Let's go. October, October 7th. 7th. Let's go. This will be coming out Which here, we man. will be in Athens that day too, October 7th. Jam for Cam. Get your tickets. Yeah. And then also... Okay. I think I can say this on here. I think we can. Think so. We will be back at the Georgia Theater <laughs> <What>? <laughs> October 20th. With who? With us. Kind Hearted Strangers. <laughs> what? You guys are headlining? It's yeah. a couple headlining. <laughs> <laughs> headlining. Thank we got you this morning. morning and we're like, oh, all right. Sick. Yeah, for sure. October 20th. Sweet. October Come 20th. Out. Sweet, man. Check awesome. out, uh, Don't make us look stupid. Come out. <laughs> <laughs> and on our Instagram, you'll find out. our fall tour. So yeah. Yeah. check out our full fall tour. Tickets in the bio us. kind of stuff. Tickets in bio. Sweet. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for that record. Sweet, man. Yeah. Dude, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. We were told thank last you, night they were like, you're not in the Athens scene unless you do the pod. Really? They like, said that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great to hear, man. I, th- I think it's a little true. You guys are episode literally like 100 something. So good that's, for y'all, man. Dude, good that's, for y'all. That's work. Uh, I'm excited. I've been looking forward to having y'all, man. Uh, I talked about it with uh, Press and them a lot. They are like, yeah, you definitely need to get them. Yeah, so yeah. appreciate y'all carving me out some time to come by for a little while. Totally. Uh, thanks to everybody for listening. If you made it 82 minutes in, thank you very much. Follow the podcast on Parker. YouTube. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Parker. Thanks, Parker. Parker, <laughs> we love you, man. We love you. <laughs> follow, the, follow the podcast, subscribe on YouTube, all that shit. Let's give him a wave so we have a thumbnail, all right, for the camera. Smile. Smile. Nice. All right. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye. Seven minutes, a